His name is tied to one of the country's largest and most successful auto auctions. And tonight, Dean Cruz is facing some serious financial trouble. The Cruz auction house is drawing complaints that it hasn't paid some sellers for months. News Channel 15's Janice Allen sat down with Dean Cruz one-on-one -on -one today. And Janice, what did he have to say about this? Well, he basically says he's waiting for people to pay him back so he can pay others back. He admits having a cash flow problem, but he's banking on this year's auto auction to help get his business out of the red. It's been a bad year for me, but I had a uh, better year than General Motors or Chrysler had. That might not be saying much for Auburn auctioneer Dean Cruz. Though he jokes about the past year for his business, he's facing some pretty serious financial troubles. What I didn't see quick enough that the economy was going to get as bad as it did. And I had a lot of my customers that haven't paid me. And it's not a small amount either. Cruz says he usually has at least $200,000 owed to his business at any time, but that amount's now grown to more than $6 million. So now he's behind in his payments to more than 60 sellers. So it just kind of dried up my cash for a while till I generate some more this weekend. Cruz hopes for a big payout with this year's auto auction and a solution to his problems with the Better Business Bureau. He's had 21 complaints, and his business has been given an F rating. Temporary setbacks Cruz maintains will be behind him if this year's event is another success. Once it's over, he plans to straighten things out with the BBB and settle most of his debts. What I have yet to catch up with isn't that much that I can't pay it after this weekend. So I'm happy. I think after this weekend, I'll have everything cleaned up and have some money in the bank. The 39th annual Cruise Auto Auction starts Wednesday. The event usually promises about 5,000 cars. So far, only about 1,500 have been registered online. But Cruise says after private sales and vendors, the festival should be able to make good on that promise. Okay, thank you, Janice.